Hello everyone and welcome back to NeoKills Gaming. In today's video we're going to be going over survival mode on the Promenade Nightmare Hardcore mode. Alright, first thing everybody needs to know for this map is you will need all four heroes for this. All my stats, as you notice, I'm level 81 right now, so all my stats are actually under 1,000. They're not the greatest right now, so I am not able to make it to wave 25, but I can get to 15, and this is still really good for XP and for gear. So for your Squire, you want as much as you can into Fortify. You notice we're getting real close to 1,000 mark there, but not quite. For the Apprentice, you want most everything into power with still a decent amount of four or five hundred ish and everything else hunters is pretty much going to be the same thing and then for the monk we have almost everything into fortify again a little bit extra into range so that way he can cover more area so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start placing our spike blockades gonna place one right about here then we want oops I'm changing my characters way too much here all right then we want an explosive trap right here and then gas trap right around here depending how big your range and area effect is it will differ a little bit same thing here explosive trap gas trap and then for this spike blockade, we're actually going to place back here, mostly to give the, the dark uh, elves something to attack there. Same thing for this here. And we're going to place it back here. You don't have to worry about those being open. They will... Nothing should get through there. I've never had any problems with it so far. And we're going to do the same thing right here. And then we have just enough for one strength down aura. We're going to place right behind our spike blockade. And that's going to be that for this one. I should also mention, if you do have a DPS character, it will help for this, if you can DPS the ogres down. I believe the best gun for the Huntress right now is the paintball gun. Um, I prefer using that anyway. This is not even a DPS build. Huntress, this is just my tower build. The main reason I'm not using a DPS one is because I want to get all my characters up to level 83, so that way I can build the map a little bit better. But if you do have DPS characters, they will help out. For this build, it's not really necessary to get to wave like 15, but again, it will help. Your stats are going to vary a lot for this. Alright, so we're just placing the rest of our strength drain auras behind our spike blockades. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here, switch to our apprentice, and I like to place a deadly strike tower right here. And this, for the left edge, you kind of want to aim towards that left path there, just that way it's covering the majority of that. And then we're going to place one back here, and this left arrow should be right around there because there are ogres that will drop down behind that spike blockade there. Now I also like to place one right here and then the right edge we want to line up with right about there. And that's about all the mana we have for this round, so I'll fast forward to the end of this wave and show you the rest of the build. Alright, now that wave is over, we got a little bit more mana. We're gonna switch back to our apprentice here. 
And on the back side here, we're going to place two Deadly Strike Towers and just make sure that left edge covers all that there. And same thing for this one. We place those two there. And then we're going to go back to our other spot here. Place the second one right around here. If we can get it to fit. And the same angle as the other one. Now, this side here is going to have three of each, all with the same angles as before. And just about like that right there. Now we have four defensive units left. So what I normally do with that is you can either use all the magic shields, like four different magic shields throughout. And if you do do that, you can place one like right here. They're most likely going to get destroyed every round because they have a much lower health than the spike blockades. But they're to delay the, the ogres. If you have more than two ogres attacking one of the crystals at once, then it will start to take damage. So you want to try to hold some of them back. You could also put one right around here. And maybe like one here. You're that, or you can actually do a spike blockade on one of these paths, and then just a one of the magical shields on another one. Again, they're more than likely going to get destroyed every wave, but it does help slow the ogres down, so that way your deadly strike towers have a chance to take them out. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. The safest spot to probably stand, so that way you're not getting killed, is right around here, and you'll be safe here. If you want to DPS the ogres down, you can actually do a lot of it from right here, and then just pop out on the side too. And you can hit most ogres just from right here. So this is one of the better spots to stand if you go out there, if you have low health like I do, or you like not a DPS spec, you're more than likely going to die. And with it being on hardcore mode, obviously you have a high chance of failing them because you won't be able to repair your traps. The only things you should really have to repair though are the spike blockades on each of the paths. Uh, especially where the ogres come out. Now, I like to upgrade the explosive traps and the spike blockades first. Don't worry about the gas traps too much. But if you just start upgrading all the explosive traps and the spike blockades, you should be good. Especially this one here. This one sees a lot of ogre traffic. Um, that's a good one to have. And then you can go to your deadly strike towers. But I'll go ahead and fast forward this to one of the higher waves so you can see how this plays out then. Alright, well we just started wave 14 here and I went out and I died. So, yeah, we get to watch and see how it holds up this way. Should do alright. But uh, if you like stuff like this on Dungeon Defenders, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss a video. I will be coming out with more guides on this. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll show you all the gear that you can get from this. Obviously, you get more gear and stuff like that from this map if you uh, are doing like bigger groups. So if you join somebody else's map or if you have other people or friends that you're playing with, uh, there are more mobs per wave and you will get more loot have some better chance at some higher level higher level gear so we'll see how this plays out here with no interaction at all so so far it looks like it's holding up pretty good it got through all the ogres at least
Normally right about now after the ogres get done, I run around and try to repair those spike blockades as much as I can. Looks like we just lost our spike blockade that was here. The dark elves destroyed it. They're about to destroy that one. Oh, a lot of stuff's starting to get through now. Now we might be in trouble. it down this path yet and we actually made it back alive so there you go there's our hand pat Let's see if we've got any gear run around and check um, at this point I'm only gonna pick up stuff for level 78 or even just mythic or higher gear But if you do lose these traps, just go ahead and rebuild them. That held up all by itself without me doing anything at all. Yeah, we lost a couple blockades there, but as you can see, once you start upgrading your gear and getting higher levels, um, this will hold out pretty well. And my stats are obviously pretty low. You see we got some decent XP too. I hit level 82. But alright, thanks for watching guys. If this helped you, make sure you leave a like on the video. And as always, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for helping me out, and I appreciate you watching the video. Have a good one, everyone. Until next time.